Well, I messed up. There's not a lot of that cow left. <clears throat> I added a coyote carcass that a friend gave me. But, uh, I'm up here to check the cameras. And I forgot my doggone camera cards. I found one in my camera case that, uh, that uh, had a bunch of stuff on it. I didn't really want to erase, but I went ahead and did it. So I can swap out one card, and it has um, 609 pictures, I think it said. The other camera, not even any point in walking over there to it. <laughs> I don't have a card to switch it out, and I don't have my reader. That's in another bag that I brought in the house. <sighs> Wasted trip, dang it. But anyway, head on back home and uh, see what's on this thing. One thing I do have along, though, are those rechargeable batteries that Doug sent me this time. I like this little plastic case they come in. I can open this one handy. And I like the idea that they're red. If I drop one in the snow, it's easier to find that way. Anyway, swap these out for the batteries that are in it and get on back home, I guess. It's a pretty day. Cloudy, gray. But it's pleasant. The other day I was up here, it was really cold. This day's a lot warmer. I always have a hard time aiming those cameras. I don't know why they don't come with a little laser pointer or something built into them so you know exactly where they're pointed. Maybe some of them do. None of mine have that. Hopefully... <laughs> Hopefully they're in the right spot. Now, coming in. Hopefully we got this guy on the camera. I'm curious to see him better. There's a set of bobcat tracks. The pads on these ones are showing up really pretty well. The, um, those last pictures, I was kind of halfway wondering if that bobcat wasn't the lynx. He was big enough to be. He's got the, the long ear tufts and things. I don't know. We don't have very many lynx in this area, but it's possible. Um... Or coyote tracks there. The uh, lynx have really fuzzy feet. They have long hair on their feet. They don't usually leave very clear prints. So I'm kind of thinking that that's a bobcat. Maybe I'll find out a little bit more with these pictures on this camera, hopefully. Dang, I wish I'd remember that other card. Getting them from two different angles is good, but... Comes the brakes. Well, these really big tracks here. There's a normal size one. We got that real big one. Sure looks like wolves, but I'm not so sure now. Comes down to where somebody parked, turned around. All sorts of tracks right here. It's just right here above some houses and things. I don't know. I have found wolf tracks in the past down on that main road, so they still could be, but I'm kind of thinking maybe there's somebody's dog after all.
there's a lot of them right here where they looks like they probably parked their truck and dog got out and ran around for a minute I don't know those ones up there they look pretty darn big well, they they still could be wolves I think tomorrow I'll make another loop up above and see if I can find them where they come out onto the other road if it's them there's a lot of people up here that walk dogs like this lady right here yeah where'd she go right there I just passed her she's got two dogs along with her hard to say for sure